hello, hello, my friends. Let's see what these northern lights, these auroras are. What messages are they bringing? Because they're bringing messages to the divine connections here. <laughs> you like my, uh, it's kind of like my cattle like gate over here. Oliver could jump it if he thought about it, but since he's not going to think about it, he won't think he can actually jump. So, keeps him from getting over to the window and barking at everything that moves. <coughs> Somebody needs to hear that. Okay. What are we, what are we working through, Spirit? Fascination, okay, there's um, going to be quite a fascinating message coming to you from this. It could be passionate. It could be that someone is showing up in their frustration and uh, they might be frustrated because they have all this passion for you. There could be disappointment that they aren't with the person that they are passionate about for some of you. Okay, <laughs> yeah. And I do feel like there is an energy here of feeling guilty about a decision that was made Again, there is some sort of third party here, person, place, or thing that is creating this unexpected, like, separation, so to speak. But these energies are trying to be shown that the path is to follow the honest heart, right? I feel like, again, whatever you're going to see that's fascinating is being put out there by somebody else. Could be because they're feeling guilty and hurt um, or just they're trying to make peace with something here. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about this message, Spirit. Okay. Oof. Happy success in reverse. Somebody thought they could have it all, and now they feel like they have nothing. And this is causing a big conflict for them. Emotional turbulence. Okay. The message that's being sent here that's coming in is coming from the higher self into your heart that you don't have anything to do with this person's back and forth. This is from their community. I know that it's making you feel fragmented, right? But Spirit's like, no, keep moving forward. Keep taking steps forward. We have some big plans for you ahead. Um, whoever this third party energy is, there's a lot of um, deception going on, but I don't think that you need to be a part of that. This is for somebody else. They're working it out, but Spirit just wants you to know not to take it personally, okay? <laughs> the passionate queen of cups there, right? So, taking it easy, enjoying yourself. Um, there is a truth here that it is almost like you're having to put in this slow work to acknowledge that the truth is is that it has nothing to do with you and you're getting these downloads on that this person's frustrated four of cups because again it's like there's all this love that I want and I'm feeling all of these things 
and nothing feels successful. Six of Wands in reverse. I'm not getting what I want. This is the Emperor's energy where it's like sort of a sore loser. Like I'm howling out because I'm not getting what I want. The fact of the matter is that there are things that are unhealed here on both sides. Um, Nine of Swords here, and it could be coming up in your dreams and trying to heal through. For some of you, it's a mother wound, um, but it's a deep healing. This shame, Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Three of Cups. It's like a friendship that taught you or a kinship that taught you that you aren't lovable, which is wrong, Seven of Cups. And so as you're standing with love in front of you, it's a really hard struggle to fill those cups up when the parties aren't filling the cups up themselves, right? Like both parties have to be filling their own cup in order for this to come in. And there is definitely some, you know, manifestations here to bring in happier emotions. But it's because somebody has felt really defeated by this ending that they've been going through. This third party energy, thank you, spirit. For some, it's just the mindset, okay? King of Swords and the Star. That I can't have what I want. It doesn't fit in my life. Um, it's, it's going to cost me too much. Ace of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. Oof. I don't know what that was, but something flew at me. Um, there's some despair here over this. Death. And there's the moon. Somebody is still hurting again from an ending. And that's why they cannot find anything to fill this cup up with. The ending feels like it's the third party. And they're hiding from themselves what they want. Okay. But the connection is strong here. King of Pentacles on the other side of this ending. And the lovers. So it's kind of like going around in circles right now. Six of Swords trying to find this path forward crossed by the sun, right? Trying to find this path to happiness without creating a burden. Uh, Ten of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the moon here, Spirit. Thank you. Four of Cups. I can't accept this. I can't accept this cup, but it's their own cup that's empty that they're refusing to accept. Six of Pentacles. And again, feeling pretty down with the Four of Wands there. It could be um, feeling like they're missing out on things, um, feeling like the timing was off and they're trying to get the timing back together wanting to get things correct before a big celebration, um, wanting to pull themselves back together before this, King of Cups, so that they can be full steam ahead, Page of Wands. It does feel like somebody is getting ready yet yeah, to the Queen of Wands. Somebody's working themselves forward out of this sort of entanglement of another. For some of you, this could just be the return of, um, you know, a loved one coming back home. Maybe 
you know, like a lot of kids are coming home from college and that could be that for some of you. Um, Ten of Pentacles in reverse and there's the strength. Like you want to be strong from them, but you may need them to pitch in. You might have a family business. You need them to, you know, pitch in. Uh, you might be trying to get everything put together and feel like you just don't have enough resources to do that. But you know what? Strength comes from being there, from standing there with someone, right? The Empress, the Queen of Swords. I do feel that everything you've planted will be showing up. You will see it with the Queen of Swords. The Five of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, as long as you don't um, close yourself off to something. Um, it's like you are afraid of the lesson. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Of letting yourself have this freedom after this ending. Death and Five of Pentacles. Um, it's almost like I'm not going to do anything more to create any sort of separation. Eight of Wands. Um, I'm blocking myself away. Not going to let anyone do anything to sabotage this. Um, strong Emperor's energy and the hang one. You may be putting someone on hold in order to deal with this. Ace of Pentacles. But you're growing something. There's the moon again. Even if you are trying to say that you are not. You have the hopes and the desires there that you truly are wanting. Yeah. Something's coming from the uh, 5D today. Landing uh, with these downloads. 999. It is telling you that things are over. Things are ending. The Empress here over the next three months is going to be having some massive growth and completion. Again, by summer will be completely evolved. For some of you, maybe you are going to have a child. And then by summer, you'll like be just in this like mothering sort of an energy. Um, but we've got Neptune in reverse showing up as something that's not completed that's been friend zoned probably through cancer season somebody doesn't really want to look at this but jupiter is moving through this confusion uh, bringing in some hope i do feel like the communication is going to happen once it does um, I do feel like whatever is, Oliver, whatever's been hidden here under this moon um, will then start to blossom. Okay, again, it's very much from this uh, emperor's energy. Okay, so let's close it off here with an oracle. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, What's under the moon is what's missing for you. And I think you know that because that's who you want to be communicating with. Okay. Um, the third house, the message is here. And we've got friendship. So I do think that you might be trying to friend zone someone here or somebody's been friend zoning you because they're trying to hide this in regards to something that's been ending in their life and trying to almost like rebuild, rec recreate something out of like the phoenix out of the ashes. I do think something is being planted here though. I just don't think that 
you're going to see Empress energy is showing up, but Empress energy is not showing up probably until Cancer season, okay? Or just for some of you, you're dealing with a Cancer and you just needed to know that they're doing something, okay? So I hope this helped you guys. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. I was like, I got out of the shower and uh, I'm like, I need, I just felt spirit saying, do a reading, do a reading. So here I am. All right. Love you guys. Bye.